I have the Samsung Galaxy S23 here. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to change the font of your smartphone. My device is running One UI 5.1. And along with this working on the model that I have here, the same steps will work on the larger Galaxy S23 Plus and the Galaxy S23 Ultra as well. You should even be able to get this to work on older Samsung Galaxy phones running the same version of One UI as well as older versions. I do have to point out though that if you have uninstalled or disabled Bixby then you will need to install it again for this tutorial to work. If you need help on how to reinstall Bixby then let me know in the comments section below and I can point you in the right direction. We're going to be using an application called ZFont to install custom fonts on our smartphone. This app supports a range of devices, but the steps that I'll be going over today are for One UI. This application can be downloaded from the Google Play Store for free, and I'll be sure to include a direct link to its app page in the video description below. After it has been installed, let's go ahead and open it up. And there are a few get categories that we can browse through here. We have some Google fonts, some Duff font, a thousand and one free fonts, font space options, and then a number of colored fonts. So I recommend that you browse through these categories, find some that you like, and then download them by tapping on the down arrow next to the font name. These are gonna be downloaded and stored on your local device, which we will then use to install them. If you want, we can even tap on the local tab down here, then select the plus button, and you can add an entire folder of fonts that you have downloaded from an outside source, or you could add the fonts one at a time. When you are ready to switch the system font on your Galaxy S23 series smartphone, you can either select the font from the local tab here, or you can find it from the home tab. I'm going to be picking a unique font so that it is easy to see that it has changed after it has been installed. So once it has been downloaded, we can tap the arrow down right there to see it is stored in local. So again, we can tap it from here or we can go from local to the category and then find it there. Either way, you're gonna be taken to this page where you get to see a preview of that font and we're going to be tapping on the apply button here. Then we're going to select the auto option since it is recommended, but you could also just select One UI if you have the Galaxy S23 series. Either way, you're gonna be taken to this page that shows you a number of steps up here and then a different set of steps toward the bottom. We're able to install these custom fonts on our device thanks to a loophole and how the backup and restore feature works on Samsung Galaxy devices. So there's gonna be a number of steps that we need to follow in order for this to work. We're gonna start by tapping on step one of the prerequisites. And if this is your first time going through this process, then after you tap on step one, 
you'll get a prompt about using Z file to install the Samsung Sans font. This technically is not required, but it will make the whole process much easier. So when you get that prompt, I recommend that you let Z font install Z file so that it can install and uninstall the fonts for you. Once that's done, we can tap on step one again and then confirm that we do want to install Samsung Sans. Now we're going to tap on step two, which is going to take us to the settings application and a specific spot where we can change our font style. We're going to switch to Samsung Sans as it is instructed. And then we're going to move on to step three. We actually don't have to tap on step three if you are already logged into your Samsung account, which I am on this device. If you have not logged into a Samsung account though, go ahead and tap on step three and then complete the sign in process. After you have logged into your Samsung account, go ahead and tap on step four. You're gonna see an image that tells you that we need to only back up our settings data here. So let's go ahead and tap on let's do it now. And it should take you to a backup data page. The first time I was brought to this page, all of these toggles were enabled. So we're going to need to disable all of these toggles except for the settings. We want to back up the settings. So when you have back the settings option enabled and the other ones disabled, let's go ahead and tap on backup now and then wait for this data to be backed up. Then we're gonna tap on done and then go back to our setup page. Now we need to uninstall the Samsung Sans font. So we can tap on step five of the prerequisites. And if you have Z font installed, as I mentioned earlier, then it will automatically prompt you to uninstall that application. If not, then you will need to manually uninstall it yourself. Now we can actually get to changing our font. This is done by tapping on step one down here in this bottom list. So after you see this prompt appear, go ahead and tap on install. You may get this Google Play Protect pop-up right here, telling you that the application is built on an older version of Android. And we can tap that bottom arrow to select install anyway. With that done, we can now tap on, tap on step two, which is going to bring us back to the font style switcher. And we're being instructed to switch back to the default option. Then we can move on to step three here, which is going to instruct us to restore our data and we're gonna be restoring from the backup that we had just created. Go ahead and scroll down a little bit and tap on the green Let's Do It Now button. We're gonna see our list of backups here. Go ahead and select the one that we just did. Make sure that the settings data is highlighted and checked, and then tap on Restore. Again, we only need to restore the settings data, which should be the only thing listed there. We can tap on done. And when we get this free up space in Samsung Cloud, we're gonna tap on later. Now we can tap back and back to go back to our setup page. If you have done this on older Samsung devices, 
then you may notice that your font has been changed right after you restore from that backup. However, on the Samsung Galaxy S23 series, and possibly all devices with One UI 5.1, we now need to reboot the smartphone in order for this font to be switched. So let's go ahead and reboot the device and wait for it to power back up. I'm going to keep the recording going so that you can see the new font will be displayed as soon as the device boots back up. What we're doing is we are basically replacing the font that Samsung believes is installed as the Samsung Sans font. You can see we already have that new font being displayed. But with the backup and restore process, this has been replaced with whatever font that you installed using the Z font application. Let me know if you ran into any issues during this process, and I'll try to help if I'm able to. I was not able to get this to work when I had removed Bixby with ADB because it's actually using Bixby to handle the font data when you create that backup. You don't have to use Bixby. It just can't be disabled or uninstalled for this process to work.